Lord. It's neither new nor innovative. It seems to offer different things at different times. Offering ownership at times, other times leasing the asset, and other times a PPA for collection. Do you have any reason to believe that, that there's still clarity in this proposal? Now, Commissioner, are you talking about the Dublin proposal? Yes. Or the no, the proposal that Georgia Solar has made to the company. Do we think there's clarity in their proposal? Yes. I know, sir, we don't. So there's nothing that's changed from what you testified in, in, your, in your testimony? No, sir, not since you said it wasn't innovative, it wasn't new, and yet there wasn't any clarity either. Well, we, our view of the proposal is that it's extremely vague, offering very little details of how they would take a, a project like this forward. Um, how there's some discussion of pricing. I, Chris, the way I look at it is, is what the company brought forward with the Advanced Solar Initiative and the way that was structured and uh, the transparency of the process that we went through to get that approved uh, in terms of the amount of megawatts, how it would be allocated between distributed generation and utility scale, the pricing methodology that the company offered forward. Um, some of the parameters around the lottery process or the VG versus the competitive RFP or the utility scale. Now, when we look at clarity, that's the kind of clarity we aim for in terms of putting forward proposals that this commission can evaluate. And we did not see that in, in the solar utilities proposal as part of this IRP. Any further questions for the panel? We've got 